welcome to the island of Aegina. We'll be exploring the main town and harbor. So let's start the show. We are heading on the fast ferry hovercraft to the island of Aegina and we are heading on Blue Star Ferries. This is our boat to Aegina. So we better get on board. So we are on board the high speed hovercraft and they have insisted that we wear masks. So we're about to set sail, it's a lovely sunny day. We're on our way to Aegina. Isn't this an absolutely fabulous marina, Paul? Yes, I think I see tiny fish swimming down there. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, Aegina is known for its neoclassical buildings, and I think they resemble the houses and the shops that you might see in Cuba. Not that I've ever been there, but I've seen pictures and they look pretty similar if you ask me. Clippity clop, here comes Horsey. This must be one of those Greek Orthodox churches. This is actually the church Zodio Theotoko.
you like these little streets, don't you, Paul? Yeah, they remind me of Spain, actually. Yeah, they do. I can remember we walked through streets like this in Sitges when we were there. And it's just so calming, so quiet. You can hear almost the echo of your voice because the streets are quite narrow and the buildings are relatively tall. I mean, some of the houses are on three stories. motorbikes absolutely everywhere and people don't tend to wear helmets either it's a bit dangerous I think and they go quite fast in these narrow streets isn't it fabulous just to walk around all these little streets there's the alleyway yeah there's like nooks and crannies no mark where you turn Aegina is famous for a nut. I'm not talking about me. <laughs> no, the pistachio. And the best form that I like to have that in is ice cream. So we're gonna get one right now. Refreshing. But I think we also have to get actual. some actual actual pistachios to take home. According to tradition, the Tower of Marcellus was built around 1802 by Spyros Marcellus, a member of the Greek Parliament and one of Aegina's leaders during the Greek War of Independence, 1821 to 1829. The architectural style of the building, however, could lead to the conclusion that it was in fact built around the end of the 17th century, forming part of the fortifications erected by Francesco Morosini during the period of the Second Venetian Occupation of Aegina, 1687 to 1715. Welcome to Greece. Now, if you're enjoying watching Paul and Marcus on YouTube, then please subscribe. Oh, look, Paul, a map of the island. Where are we? We're right over here. This is Aegina town itself, and it looks as though it's quite it a big island, really. You could probably spend a few days here, but as we only have a few hours, we're just staying in the town. We are standing outside St. Nicholas Church. Well, we weren't able to go in because there is a funeral taking place. Um, we approached the door and I saw the body um, lying in a coffin. So um, obviously we are not going to disturb the people paying their respects. Oh, wow. Look at the colourful umbrellas. They line the entire street. What do you think about this, Paul? Hello. Hello, good morning. Ah, this is just exactly what we were looking for. The pistachios. What do we think? 
Shall we get a small one? Which one do you want? Maybe this one? They also sell your soap. Shall we get this one? Yes. Yeah. Shall I have a look at the soap as well? Mm. Olive oil soap. Mm. Traditional Greek soap. And this is excellent for breakfast, by coffee, by tea. Mm. Excellent. This is one that we had, the yes. caramel. Yeah, we'll take this one as well. Yeah, I'll take these. Any other one? Any other ones? Wow, so we got a bag of pistachio nuts, a bag of caramel nuts, and they let us try one of each of them before we got them. Um, I love this donkey milk soap and a couple of other bars of soap made with olive oil. So yeah, I think that's quite a good find. Someone's coming over to say hello. Hello. <laughs> Meow. No, no jumping up. Not on me anyway. So this is the fruit and fish market. We've got the, the fruit behind us and we can smell the fish in front of us. Look, how pretty! Hello, Marcus. Hello, Paul. We are at a traditional Greek restaurant. Yeah, it's recommended by TripAdvisor. And I believe that you, Paul, are going to have your favorite seafood, which is octopus and i'm going to have my favorite seafood which is calamari oh, yeah. So this is a lager. I've had this before. So so I know what to expect. Oh, I think this is gonna be refreshing. Cheers everyone. Cheers. Delicious. And And I am having the mythos, which I've had, of course, back at home yeah, before yeah, as yeah. well. So, cheers. Does it taste better in this country? It sure does. It tastes better out of a bottle than a can. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Yeah. It had this funny top thing too. Some bread I'm still filming myself. Mm. Should I film myself? So this is a lager. I've had this before. 
so so I know what to expect. Ooh, I think this is gonna be refreshing. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Delicious. And. And I am having the Mythos, which I've had, of course, back at home yeah, before yeah, as well. Yeah. So, cheers! Does it taste better in this country? It sure does. It tastes better out of a bottle than a can. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, it had this funny top thing too. Put some bread for that. So here is my calamari and Paul. Look at your octopus. Mmm, yummy. That is quite a delicacy, which is why you've only got two yeah. pieces of it, right? So you'll have to savor it. Okay, let's see how this tastes. <laughs> So there's olive oil. I added some of this lemon to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite yeah. chewy. Very chewy. The reason I got this is because I don't normally see this back on the menu for me back home and it tastes nice and grilled, um, char grilled even and the texture is interesting. Um, it's not too squishy. But yeah, I think it's, I think this will meet my expectations indeed. So eat up. Yeah, I give up on bread. Mmm. And my squid is delicious. <laughs> Now, who do you see? Mm. Nice. No. Oh. What did you think of the meal? Mmm, very filling. Um, I really didn't think it would be, but the, we had the bread, of course, as well, to fill us up. And look, I've still got quite a lot of beer left to wash it all down with. What about you? Considering there was only two tentacles, I thought, is this really going to be enough? But just like you said, I had the olives and a few slices of bread. And yeah, I'm properly full up. And I do have 0.3 liters left of this 500 ml of beer to drink so yeah, yeah i think i'm properly full so this was a good meal and i did enjoy it look marcus the clear boot blue water is this the ceramic coast yeah well the water may be clear blue but there's a lot of uh, fuel and fumes has been pumped out of that boat over there. Can you believe we're on this little island? No, I thought Little Island was in New York. <laughs>
Well, our time in Greece has sadly come to an end. But haven't we had a lovely time here, Paul? Yes, it was absolutely amazing. And the weather has been mostly kind. So what was the highlight of the trip for you? I think it would have been the trip up like a Beatrice Hill and the church was a site to behold as well as that bar called the Lucky Sparrow. What yes, about I think the Lucky Sparrow was definitely one of the highlights for me as well. But just coming here to the island of Aegina oh, wow, yeah. on our last day when the weather has been absolutely glorious I think has just been the perfect ending to this lovely trip so thank you for joining us over the past six episodes and we will see you next time thank you see you soon bye for now bye bye, bye.